Welcome again. In this video I will show you how to use the template to make a matrix fairly quickly. Okay, what we're going to do, if I go down the bottom, is we're going to build this, which is a two-dimensional uh, matrix. And basically all the infrastructure is set up, so you just need to enter uh, your data. So basically you start up is what is the name, and you type in something there. And I'm just going to change it so you can see, you know, you would type over your own words. And then how do you want to label them? And uh, I've just done some sort of opportunity matrix uh, com competition or how competitive we are versus uh, strengths is sort of the same thing. So we'll, we'll, we'll make it attractiveness. Okay, and there are two dimensions. We, to help with the scaling and the mapping, we just work out highs and lows, minimum, maximum. And once you've done that, you come down here and typically we're looking at a company or compa comparing something in the business environment. And I've just made up some random labels here. Okay, I'll put another one in. You can build up to 25 down here. And it says, as you've determined, uh, being competitive is uh, the vertical axis. So let's score this one an 8. Uh, it's on a scale of 1 to 10, which we have determined we can control that. And then how attractive that industry. And we'll make that a 9. And basically that has now been mapped down here. You can see the headings changed straight away. And the, the one we've added has magically appeared. If we look at that and go, oh gee, that doesn't quite look right. We can just come back up here make that different and it's moved back across there if I even make it a bit more dramatic um, we'll see it's right over here now so we can design these things very very quickly uh, it runs this scale there's also the identical matrix down the bottom which runs in the opposite scale it's just been reversed around and over here on the side you can make some of those bubbles bigger so let's assume we want to make a and B bigger, and then E and F, the smaller ones. Uh, we go down here, and that's already happened for us. So basically, then we can just copy and paste, and we're set to go. Uh, there's only one more thing I want to show you, so I just pause the video to change some of the data. Okay, I've just changed some of the data here, where this one goes from 5 down to 0.1. So um, we've got an unusual scale here, because we're going down into decimals and basically uh, we can see that F now is a fraction of the size of E um, and uh, but when we look at the chart you know F's you know not that dissimilar to to some of the others here with, you know, with uh, D and E so what we can do what's been built in here and you can see the mini chart there is to plot it uh, a little bit differently and basically we just turn that to yes and you can see that data is rescaled we'll have a look at it and we now see that there's a much greater difference between this because these guys here are you know, seven times 0.1 versus 0.7 even though it's fairly small um, in terms of magnitude it's quite different so it's trying to spread it out and represent that if that's not you want what you want you just turn it back to no and we just get a simple linear uh, differential because this is only 0.6 apart. So hopefully that, that tool helps you. Uh, visit Marketing Study Guide to get the, the download and more instructions.